Sam. We're here at Ibiza. Josh from Motea and my new baby. So, Josh, tell me, tell them what we're doing. So, this is a membrane faceted deionization for a CAT DI unit. And basically, it's a small system with a compact footprint that can remove salt or TDS from the water to make the perfect water for the perfect upper coffee. Essentially what we're doing is we're running a very small amount of electricity across this module to positively charge one layer of electrodes and negatively charge the opposite layer of electrodes. By flowing water through those cells, we can pull that salt out or that conductivity or TDS out of the water and uh, give that perfect quality water. How many layers uh, are in this particular one? So we take a single layer and then on top of the module you see we stack 24 of those layers into a stack and then we stack five stacks on top. So you've got five times 24 and my maths is not good enough to do that on camera. Okay, so we're going to go with that. There's a lot of layers in here. Essentially what you see we've got hooked up is we have a current clamp hooked up. So our system is going to push constant current to this module to give that positive and negative charge on the electrodes. And we're going to control the current that we're applying to optimize and to tune that water quality. So the higher current that we push to the module, the higher removal, the lower conductivity or lower TDS of the water that we're producing. And the lower the, con the, lower the current that we're pushing, the higher the conductivity. And up here on the top, we're running amps. Voltage here, voltage amperage here, right. here. Yeah, voltage on the top, right? Um, what's important here is that when your water changes, which it will do all the time. Seasonally, Seasonally or with weather, or, or if weather, they change from an aquifer to surface uh, water. The water's going to change. This machine is, has the ability to, to, to understand that the water's changing. And due to the currency and the voltage, it can and will rectify what is sticking out of the water and fix the water. Absolutely. So it will automatically feed back and adjust this current dynamically and automatically to adjust for any variation that you have in your feed water quality. So in the west of the United States here in Arizona, we have beautiful water. Of what did we mean? 1,400 parts per million TBS. It was really, really nice water. So the machine literally in about... Uh, about yeah. five minutes. About five, five minutes. Ten minutes. Rectified the water and is now giving us perfect recipe we, quality water. What we scaled it for. So we have lab condition SCA certified water in five to seven minutes. Uh, the footprint of the unit, as you can see, right now this unit is just up on this bench because we're doing some other learning, but it will go down on the ground. Uh, you do need a holding tank, and depending on how much water you're going to use, depends on how big the tank is going to be. Exactly. So we have a 180 gallon, 80, 80 gallon, so we have an 80 gallon tank. This machine will fill that tank in a matter of about five hours. Uh, yeah, about three hours. Three hours, three hours, hours. That, machine, that will recover so that tank. The flow rate will depend on the water quality. The water, as you say here, is pretty terrible. That's so gorgeous. we're running quite low flow rate, so we need a slightly larger tank. For most large or reasonably large coffee shops, we generally run this smaller unit and we run with a around a 40 gallon pressure storage tank so because the flow rate is slightly lower here because of the higher feed water then we run with a slightly larger tank. And we use a lot of water here. We'll be running a cafe, espresso machine, um, the brewing, well, the drip coffee is on a separate system but all of our slow bar, the lab which uses a ton of water so this system is suited for our use, but if you're a small cafe, you just need a 40 gallon. Absolutely. Get going. Cost wise, I'm not going to tell you the price. It, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive for what it does. Considering other... Given that you can break this across, the module will last five to seven years minimum. Um, and the OPEX is very low. You don't need any salt. You don't need any filter changes. You don't need anything of that nature. So the maintenance is fairly minimal. Once you've programmed it, it's going to adjust dynamically, as I said, for any changes in water feed quality. So realistically, it's a pretty hands-off system. Additionally, we can connect up to the internet so you can remote monitor it. So you don't even need to be at your cafe to check what your system's doing. 
So from that side, the OPEX really cancels out the higher the higher CAPEX. And as he was indicating with the salt, I don't want salt. And so he actually was able to program this machine and we have lowered and almost reduced down our salt uh, content in the water now completely. Um, so this system has a lot of capabilities a lot of others don't have. And the only maintenance really is carrying citric acid. 500 grams of citric acid, 500 grams of water every two, three, four months and you're good. So I can't wait to see the results of this bad boy. We are excited to see.